Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News. we got a Friday update for you. Hannah and Tyler reunite on a new show. Not in real life. Not in the, <clears throat> excuse me, in the dating world, at least. Although a boy can dream. That's right. Tyler Cameron has a new show. Uh, it was announced a couple days ago, but we have yet to cover it over here. Here's what he had to say on Facebook. We're back on TV. I'm so excited to announce a project that's been years in the making and one that I'm super proud of. It's taken a village to put this one together, and I can't wait to share my passion for home building and design with you guys in my favorite place in the world, Jupiter, Florida. So mark your calendars because we are launching my new show, Going Home with Tyler, on April 18th. Come back to my hometown with me to start up my construction business with the help of some of my friends, Rob and Jess. I can't wait for you guys to see all the hard work over the past years come together. I can't thank the Prime Video team enough for believing in us. High Noon Entertainment for bringing my vision to life. And Haley has seen me for fighting for every little inch of the show to make it happen. Here are some photos that we've got of the show. That is just a very strong, uh, very swole. I mean, look at the forearms. you got to swing a lot of hammers to get a forearm like that. Tyler Cameron. And then also uh, fans have noticed that is Tyler with Hannah Brown. Now, of course, Tyler and Hannah Brown, uh, no stranger to the camera together. Uh, of course, Tyler was a finalist in Hannah Brown's season. And they sort of... Went on a date or two after uh, it didn't work out with Jed, if you remember correctly, a few years back. And then possibly quarantining together during the early stages of the pandemic. Can you remember those days? Tyler with his good pal Matt James, who then was flung into fame as the next Bachelor. Tyler, they could never really get him and get his price for Bachelor, which is good. He didn't need them, and now we can see him kind of, uh, you know, get to share his story in a way that's... Got not going to suck the drama out of his bones. So there, oh my gosh, quit it. Quit it. I mean, how many ladies would want to be in a bathtub with this man right there? He's got his safety goggles on. He's doing the damn thing. He's busting tile. That's not a metaphor, although I'm sure he'd let you. I'm sure you'd let him bust tile. Okay, um, there he is with another friend, uh, you know, sitting. I mean, even when he's sitting on cement, he looks sexy. He's like, oh, yeah, not me, just perching on top of this cement. And some ladies are like, I'd like you to perch on top of me. Okay, folks, come on. And then there he is with Jason Tartik. Even Jason Tartik's getting his wires crossed. It looks like they're, try I mean, by the way, not exactly, not exactly rocket science here. It looks like they're trying to take apart a coaxial cable. Is that what that is? Or is it plumbing? I don't know. What do I know? I'm a podcaster. And, um, oh, here's another good one. Rachel and Matt are there. Good pals, Rachel and Matt. So this will be fun. A quasi-dating, not dating, a quasi-docuseries show about renovation, but also friendship. This guy's is going to be great. And it'll uh, have eight episodes that air all at once. I tell you what, we will be there to cover it. Um, that's not the Instagram I wanted. Uh, here it is. So uh, it's called Going Harder. No, excuse me. It's called Going Home with Tyler Cameron. I know a lot of ladies would want to go home with him. And of course, everyone's excited. Bachelor, builder, businessman. Of course, here we have the rip on the sort of uh, bachelor, uh, you know, hey, this is it, The Bachelor. If you just opened up your checking, your checkbook, I don't know if that's how they pay their contestants, you could have afforded this man. For the right price, he would have done it, and it's not too late. It's not too late to get Tyler Cameron. Oh, the show's losing ratings? Let me tell you how to have the best rated season in years. Tyler mother effing Cameron. Here's a clip of him in Home Depot. Four times 50. 10 by 10, 10 by 20. 17 times 2 by 12 by 16. I need 2 by 12 by 12. I hate Home Depot. I don't know. I just don't like it. I they, there's The screws are never where you want them. The sandpaper is always in the different area. Um, someone says, I'm gay. I don't do math. Well, what does that even mean? Uh, someone else says, ha ha, I just walked down the aisle saying help. Uh, that's what, it, yeah, you can do that if you're a woman. They don't help the men. My wife's always like, oh, they're so friendly at Home Depot. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? I've never seen a customer service representative. Melissa says, okay, time to delete my dating apps and wander around Home Depot in Florida. Uh, guys at my Home Depot here in Virginia do not look like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's never at the Home Depot you want them to be at. Guys at my Home Depot are me in booty shorts trying to find lawn fertilizer. Have at it, ladies. Um, 
Brittany says, never, always two to three trips per project. Yeah, that's what happened. You want Because you want to get out of Home Depot so fast. So you're like, all right, just give me the dang stick of wood. And the next thing you know, you're like, I got to go back to Home Depot, don't I? They always send you back there. I'm more of a Lowe's guy myself. I don't know what that says about me. But uh, is, is that a beta move to go to Lowe's? There's just a better aesthetic there. There's a little bit, you know, I don't know. Uh, it's also closer, so that's why I go to Lowe's. Uh, but I, I, I can't tell you how pissed I am at the self-checkout at Home Depot and Lowe's. Like, look, it's one thing to self-checkout, you know, when you're uh, at, a, at, a, at a supermarket. But to do self-checkout when you got a bunch of pieces of wood around... How anno- it's like, do I work here now? Do I need to stock the shelves after this? So, of course, fans have gone in a tizzy over Tyler Cameron. Uh, oh, this is this old article. He spent two hours crying in a bathtub with a 12-pack of beer after the split from Hannah Brown. You never really got to see heartbroken Tyler because he did such a good job of being very measured on the show. Kind of like Joey on this last season with Charity, where like Joey didn't seem that heartbroken to me. Maybe it's because they handled it internally. I truthfully don't know. But either way, um, this this was probably the height of The Bachelor ever. Maybe not in like total popularity, but I, I, as far as Instagram goes, I mean, when when Tyler and Hannah ended there after the final rose, their follower count spiked so much because people wanted to, you know, they were invested. Like, what are they going to do? Well, now we have him reuniting with Hannah Brown in the new series. Let's see if they say anything here. I don't think, you know, it's already frozen. This, this stupid website's here. No one's covering these stories, folks. Other than this photo, I don't think there's too much that we see going on. Uh, most notably, Tyler's ex, Hannah Brown, will be lending a hand to her former flame in the Prime Video series. They fell in love during her season of The Bachelorette, but she broke his heart in the season 15 finale to be with now ex Jed Wyatt. Despite his heart... Oh, they don't even get into the goods of the story. Um, She's now engaged to Adam Woolard. We know that. Uh, But the eight-episode series will follow Tyler as he starts his own construction and home renovation company. Each episode of the show will end with the reveal of Image One's latest stunning remodel. The end of the first season will culminate in a project that hits close to home, literally. Tyler will be remodeling the home of his late mother who passed away suddenly from a brain aneurysm in 2020. Making this show over the past four years has been a labor of love and I'm extremely thankful to my team and the teams at Amazon and High Noon for all their hard work. Uh, oh, oh, High Noon is an alcohol company. Yeah, yeah, maybe have the High Noon after you do the construction, not during. I don't know. I mean, hey, whatever. Do what you got to do. This show has everything from heart and grit to family, friends, and personal challenges. And I cannot wait to share my beautiful hometown and all my favorite people with everyone. I tell you what, you know, it's not too often I really look forward to spinoffs from former alumni and this and that. But I got to tell you. I will be tuning into this show. I mean, if it's anything like, you know, the heartfelt uh, renovation shows you see, you know, the extreme home makeover and shows like that. I mean, if he's if he's even got an ounce of what Chip and Joe, uh, Chip and Joan, uh, what's it, Chip and Joe, what the, what the Chip and Joe, uh, jo- Joanna, Joanna and Chip, the hell are their names? Either way, point being is there's a huge market out there for home reno. And if, if we can mix Tyler Cameron going on a few dates in the process, Chef's kiss. All right, I'll be uh, live on uh, Patreon right now. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal if you want some bonus content. We'll see you then.